Alright Rednecks, welcome back to another Baja Bourbon build. My dad actually needs the regulator out of this door for his Suburban, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this panel removed and we're going to pull this regulator out, so let's help him out. panel out of the way we need to bring the window up so we can get to the bolts for the window so let's bring it up all right right here and right here are our two window bolts so as well as our bolts for our regulator track and our regulator itself so let's get it out With the regulator out, what typically fails on these are these cables that run up and down, that actually run the window up and down, tend to start fraying. And what happens when they fray, they get jammed in these cables. So we want to inspect it good. And I'm not seeing any of that on this one, so hopefully it's a good replacement for my dad's truck. Okay, one thing I forgot to show you is on the outside here, you want to support this window so it doesn't come down on you. And what I normally do is take a piece of tape, you throw it along this edge right here. Some people duct tape over the window and that stops the window from coming down and smashing your hand. So, not such a fun time. Alright guys, my dad stopped by and helped me take the hood off, so, alright, what do we get? 54.2 pounds, so, let's add that to the weight reduction. Alright, the next thing we gotta do to get this door off, is so we gotta get this wiring on the inner door jam out. Alright, to get this inner door jam out, we have to push on these clips right here. If you look up here, you got to push on these clips. There's one there, one on the bottom, and that'll release this gasket. And then you come to the inside, and you take this. This is your main connector for all your power windows, power locks, and everything on your door. Got that apart. Looks like we got another small one right here that needs to come undone. <clears throat> all right. And that should get us, looks like we got one more. So if you see right here, this white plug, there's a clip right there we need to pull. Mm -hmm. All right, let's feed that through. Oh, is there more? Yeah, there's more, mm -hmm. more. We got a black plug. Here. There we go. All right, now. All right, now we get the pleasures of feeding all that through. So, and there we go. All right, guys, with the door properly supported, what you need to do is there is a bolt on this hinge there's a bolt holding your door stopper there's one more bolt right here that holds this door on just like that all right guys battery died in the camera but i went ahead and i weighed the door um, the passenger front door and that weighed 77.2 pounds um, I also weighed the hardware which was the springs and the hinges for the for the hood Let's take a look over here 
the hardware, the hardware for the hood was 5.8 pounds. So, hey, every pound counts. So, we got a lot of weight out of her so far. A lot to go. So, stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Things looking a little different. Take a look. Had to do a little bit of off-camera work. Uh, somebody actually came to buy the rear gate and they wanted both the driver's doors as well, so I had to quick rip them off. Um, also, went ahead and changed out the rims and tires. Put my 35s back on the Tahoe and switched out the rims and tires on the Suburban, so it's a... Uh, easier and safer to move around also one of them kept going flat so that was just easier for me so with all that being said let's go over the totals as of right now we sold the rear gate for $25 driver's front door and driver's rear door for $30 giving us a grand total so far of $615 into this as well as if you look here We've already had the rear seats, rear gate, hood, rear door. We went over all that and the hood, uh, hood hinges. But the driver's front door was 82.4 pounds, which was surprising considering the right front door, the passenger front door, was at 77.2. So I don't know why there's such a weight difference. But And then the driver's rear door was 74.4 pounds. And da -da 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 -da, our grand total so far. 455.8 pounds so that's between all of them right there so pretty exciting let's keep removing the weight i guess i can quickly review um this pass this driver's back door is actually really easy to remove all it is is this one thing you pop it off there's a clip you unclip it you take it off um then as for the driver's side we have the same thing there were plugins in here as well as plug-ins down here and then you take your three bolts off pull the door so let's go over the passenger back door we'll uh well you guys watch that one with the three bolts off and the wiring clip undone, we can just take and lift the door off. So let's do it. All right, 74.4 pounds. Let's see what else we can find. Let's see what they weigh for the fun of it. No passenger floor mat. There you have it, guys. The floor mats were 5.8, so all adds up. All right, Rednecks, that's going to do it for today. If you'd like, there's two more things that are going to be removed off of the Suburban. If you want to post in the comment section below what you think they are, be my guess, one of them is very big. So, like, share, subscribe, get back to work. <laughs>